Today I am going to speak on facts and myths on EBO incompatible kidney transplantation. The in the way back in 1971 India has performed their first kidney transplant. Since then there are a lot of new advancement came in uh, kidney transplantation and one of the important thing among them was ABO incompatible kidney transplantation. So the transplant uh, in ABO incompatible transplant the whole problem which people like a face is basically of immunosuppression and having a rejection so uh, according to the new literature and data the ebu incompatible transplants are as good as patients are having the abo compatible transplant but if they are done in a proper way and proper medications so uh, why this abo incompatible transplant came uh, first in the picture is because there are many patients who are on dialysis but in their families they don't have the same blood group donors and so they have to be on dialysis and they will not have the benefits of getting transplantation done so if considering if there is a same blood group donor in the family that is definitely the first choice to undergo and then the next choice is to go for a abo incompatible transplant and then only the choice is to continue for maintenance hemodialysis so in abo incompatible transplantation what is difference than the regular transplantation so the regular the main issue is the titer the abo incompatible lity which which the patient has means the antibody that is the anti a or anti b blood group antibodies which are present in the recipient which will affect the kidney from the different blood groups so the we uh, patient has to undergo few sessions of plasma therapy uh, or there is uh, a new therapy or a new plasma filter which can remove the antibody at a single setting also so currently if you see the benefits and the side effects of dialysis and transplantation abo incompatible transplantation is found to be much more beneficial than continuation on maintenance hemodialysis the immunosuppression wise patient definitely has been little bit requiring more drugs than the regular transplant but this is for initial part of transplant at jupiter hospital with our uh, transplant team we have performed around 20 abo incompatible transplant in last 2 years and we have found the excellent result we never had any patient who had a acute rejections or had a significant infections which will lead to mor- morbidities so the pa- few patient has some increased risk of urinary tract infection but that was very well treated with antibiotics and currently they are doing very well and we have been a following up for around 1 and 1/2 to 2 years their creatinine is around less than 